Right there we have a fish I've cut in half. And right here we have a couple of hungry 11-week-old uh, Renaissance Bulldogs. And this is a mukbang video. Behind you. There you go. That's Wrecker, he's an 11 week old Renaissance Bulldog. Over here we have Magi. We'll give you a little uh, update of our uh, puppy food aggression. Progress. Let's see, she's doing good. Oh, a little bit there, but doing very good. They've come a long ways. Again, if you want to see the uh, first video. You can check that out down at the link below. Here we got Wrecker. Again, he was get away from my legs there. He was very very food aggressive a few weeks ago, but we've been working with him and he's come a long way. Let's see him touching him, got a pan by his head. He's doing very well. You want to learn more about feeding your dogs raw? I've provided several links down below in the video description. Make sure you check those out before you ask me any questions. They'll give you probably uh, the answers to 99% of anything you want to ask me. Also, if you disagree with the way I uh, feed my dogs, that's great. I don't care. You don't need to tell me about it in the comments. I'll just shadow ban you. Save yourself the headache of writing something I won't read. Just put these videos up as a service to show people a way uh, to do things. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. This is just how I do it as a animal warden and breeder and somebody that's been involved with uh, rescuing dogs for uh, 30 years. I'm just some guy on YouTube though, don't take my word for it. Do your research. I've provided several links in the video description regarding that. To answer some quick questions I know I'm going to get in the comments. Yes, it's okay to feed your dogs bones as long as the bones are raw. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Yes, I'm not uh, at all worried about raw food bacteria. 36% of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. They are biologically designed to deal with it. See the beautiful muscle tone on Wrecker there. Nice coat. Did you get that? I thought I might have to pull it out for him. Magi also has a beautiful coat. Now you may ask, why don't you cut it up for the dogs? Well, that's intentionally. You want the dogs to learn to chew things up. When you cut things up, they tend to not chew it and swallow pieces that are too big. This also gives them a much needed outlet for chewing. This is how they would be eating in the wild. This is what they are designed to be doing. Feeding this way prevents them from chewing on and destroying inappropriate things around the house. 
At least that's been my experience. And you can see the beautiful coats these puppies have. That's all from a raw diet. I'm not putting anything on their coats or conditioning them with any products. That's all the result of raw dog food. Now, Magi finish first because Wrecker's got the head. Now, the growling and complaining that you're hearing. That's totally fine and acceptable. It's just the uh, dogs establishing their place and uh, keeping the other one from uh, messing with their food. You know, you want to allow them to do this. It prevents any fights in the future. It allows them to establish a, a pack hierarchy. If you enjoyed this like subscribe and share hit that notification bell down below if you liked it a lot you'll get email notifications when my new videos come out you got the way magi you're blocking me Thank mm -hmm. you.